Okay, we're going to solve this differential equation by using the Laplace transform. And especially, we notice that here we have a unit step function, so we're going to do this carefully, right? And also, don't forget we have the initial conditions right here. All right, so let me put down, here is the original Laplace transform notation, and we'll take all this into the S world first. So for y double prime, we will end up with S squared times capital Y of S, right? And we are going to isolate the Y of S later on. But anyway, this is the first part. And then we will have minus S times Y of zero. And let me just indicate that we are just multiplied by zero, but this zero is because Y of zero is zero. And then we are going to minus Y prime of zero. So let me just indicate that. And we know Y prime of zero is equal to one. So this is what we have after we do the Laplace transform of Y double prime, all right? And then we'll be adding this with the Laplace transform of Y it's just going to be y of s. That's pretty much it. And once again, all my s are in red, all right? And this is equal to the right-hand side. When we do the Laplace transform of the unit step function, as you know, this is technically 1 times u of this. So figure out what's the Laplace transform of 1, which is going to be 1 over s, right? So let's multiply 1 over s, and then we are going to have what? Well, this is u of t minus 3. The past these 3 is what we need, right? So we will have e, uh, 1 over s times e to the negative 3s. Once again, this 3 is because of minus the 3. So this is what we have after we take that equation into the s world. Okay, on the left hand side, we see that we have this term and that term, they both have the y of s. So I'm going to just put them together. And first, we'll have the s squared, and then this is plus 1. And then I will factor out the y of s at the end like this. And this is going to be, and by the way, this is going to be 0, so that's it. <laughs> and then bring the 1 to the right-hand side, right? So we will have 1, and then let me put down plus, and let me write this down as e to the negative 3 s over s, and that's what we have. At the end, you know, I have to divide everything by s squared plus 1. In another word, I will get y of s. This is technically a capital Y, like this. y of s is going to be, first we have 1 over s squared plus 1. And I'm not going to combine the fractions because this one doesn't have e to the y ever, right? So 1 over s squared plus 1. Okay, and then right here, we put down plus e to the negative 3s over s, and then we put this in the denominator, so we have the s squared plus 1, like that, okay? And now, as you know, we'll just take the inverse dot plus from here, right? So let me just do that like this, throughout, right? When we go back, we get to the t world, this is going to give us the y of t, Namely, this is going to be the solution, right? And this is not bad to do, neither. The inverse Laplace of 1 over s squared plus 1. This one is the same as saying 1 squared. And this 1 matches with this 1, right? That means we have what? Just sine of 1t, namely sine t, like this. No problem, right? Next, we are going to be adding, and this is how you're going to do this. Here we have e to the negative 3s. You know when you go back to the t world, you are going to end up with a unit step function. And the input is going to be t minus this 3. Once again, it's because of negative 3s. So the input is uh, t minus 3. Right? So always put that down first whenever you see e to the whatever s. Well, I also have to multiply by f of t minus 3. That's a zero statement, right? So let me just write this down. We must have the f of t minus 3 as well. But what's f of t? I don't know yet. So to do so, let me just indicate this on the side. I have to figure out what's the inverse Laplace of 1 over s times s squared plus 1. All right? 
When you do this only, you see on the top, I did not put down e to the negative 3s anymore because this right here by itself, it's going to give us f of t. And once I know f of t, I can just plug in t minus 3 into t, and then I will figure out this part. So anyway, this is 1 over s times s squared plus 1. To do this, we have to do partial fractions, and you can check out the video in the description. I'll show you guys how to do the partial fraction in a different video because I wouldn't have enough space to do all that for you guys right here. So just please watch that video, or better yet, try this on your own. And either way, you are going to end up with 1 over s, and then you are going to subtract s over s squared plus 1. Once again, just by partial fraction. And then, now, you see, the inverse Laplace of 1 over s is going to be 1, because the Laplace of 1 is 1 over s, right? For this, as you can see, we have s on the top, s squared on the bottom like this, and then plus 1, right? This is going to give us cosine, and then this is a minus. So minus cosine, and this is technically the same as 1 squared, right? So in other words, minus cosine t, just like that. And this guy is the f of t, okay? And now, I just have to figure out what's f of t minus 3. Let me just indicate that I want the input to be t minus 3. So to write this down legitimately, I will write this down as sine t by itself, right? This is like one term, the first term. And then plus u of t minus 3, and I'll open the parentheses for the f of t minus 3. Okay, 1, and then minus cosine, and the t becomes t minus 3, so put on t minus 3 inside, and then close that parentheses. That's it. This right here is the solution. And this is my little letter y, but anyway, it shouldn't matter that much. Anyway, that's it. Pretty fun, isn't it?